with y'all, man. It's your friendly neighborhood sneaker man, Goat Weezy. Back one more time, man, with something special. Something special. You guys can see it in the title, what my question is. And the reason I have this question is because we haven't seen him in a while, and one of my homeboys brought it to my attention. Yeah, he hit me up, and he was like, yo, he want to know where he can get a, a Jordan pack from. And I'm like, damn, I ain't seen a Jordan pack in a couple years. You know, the last pack that I seen was the finals pack with the uh, the white and gold 13 and the black and gold 14. That was the finals pack. And then after that, that uh, they came out with the alumni pack, which featured that Converse. I think that was that's called the Fast Break Converse. And the Retro 2, the Alumni Retro 2, it had, it had like May something, May 1987. And that came out in 2017. I think that was, yeah, that was almost two years ago. Two years ago that came out. So from my understanding, we haven't had a pack in about two years, man. So Jordan Brand, what's up with that? Like I know that finals pack was about $500 and I know that Alumni pack was around 300. So, man, my, my homeboy hit me up, and I was like, dang, you know, that's something I could put out there on the video. You know, I could ask people, but I'm like, man, you know what? That could be a video. But anyway, if you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe. Hit that notification bell, man. Hulk, smash that bell. We're on the road to mother sucking 2K. We're on the road to 2K, man. I, I need 2K by the end of the year, but... To all my old subscribers, hey man, I appreciate y'all. Even, even my new subscribers, I, I still appreciate y'all, man. Y'all know it ain't nothing but love from over here with your friendly neighborhood sneaker man, the one and only Go Easy. But um, speaking of what happened to packs, I want to give y'all my top five favorite packs. All right, these are this is my personal list. So if you see something that I forgot. Just go ahead and put it in the comment section below, man. Y'all know how I do that thing, man. Y'all know I love y'all input. Hey, man. But let's go ahead and get right, started. So number five on the list. This is the Beginning Moments Pack. All right, the Beginning Moments Pack, which featured the old love and the new love. Now, I got a pair, got a pair of new loves right here. Now, the reason why I wanted this, I, rem I vividly remember wanting this pack when I was in high school. I think this came out right before I graduated, like April 2007. It had to be like a month before I, gra I graduated. And they retailed at 200. And I remember because I, I was asking my mom, I'm like, mom, you know, I buy all my shoes, but you can go ahead and use this as a graduation gift. And I think, it, yeah, it was like $200 at the time and my mom still wouldn't buy it. She was like, Boy, please, I ain't spend no $200 on no sneakers, and I got your brother to worry about, I got your sister to worry about, and you about to graduate, you about to go to school. So I'm like, man, whatever, man. But And she still didn't buy it. She just gave me money for my graduation, but I still love my mama, though, man. You know, I eventually got it. Like, when the, I forgot when these came out, like last year, two years ago. So yeah, I eventually got, got one of the pairs 10 years later. <laughs> But the new love, I, unpopular opinion, I know everybody don't like mids, but I love yellow and black for some reason. I don't know why I love yellow and black so much. My favorite color is Carolina blue, but on sneakers, I love yellow and black. I don't know why, but the new loves have always been one of my favorite. And it's called the new love because of Michael Jordan's love for motorcycle racing. He got into motorcycle racing, and y'all probably know the story already. But number five, man, the old love, new love. The old love was like a Chicago colorway in the mids. They, I think they called it the Bulls back in the day. I, I can't remember. Um, but yeah, this is this is one of my favorite sneakers, and I don't even wear them like that to be honest with you. I, I got to get some more wear out of these. I know I only wore these maybe like two times. Yeah, about two times. The insole, the, well, the sole ain't that bad. They dirty, but I only wore, I think I wore these to the club one time, if I'm mistaken, with a, uh, I got the uh, freshman year Will Smith jersey. That's what I wore these with, man. So, coming in at number five, the beginning moments pack. I don't have the actual pack. I just have these 
But and these are the only mids that I would ever buy. The only mids. I don't need any other mid, man. But shout out to all my people who like mids and, and rock mids. You know, wear what you like, rock what you like. All right, coming in at number four, we got the 10 and 13 countdown pack. Now the countdown pack was were the packs that was supposed to equal up to Jordan number 23. All right, so each retro would equal up to 23. And so with the countdown 10, 23 pack, you had your shadow tens and your he got games. All right. I think this was back in 08, if I am mistaken. Uh, I remember these. I think these came out right around my freshman year of college. All right. Now the shadow 10 had the 23 on the ankle side. If 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 y'all, if anybody that forgot. Now it's crazy because I'm I'm talking about packs and I got shoes from the packs. You know, they 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 started retro again. My He Got Games are still dead stock. This is from uh, last year's release. Was it? I, I can't even remember if it was last year. I, I just need to start wearing my sneakers, man. They still clean. Y'all know I always wait to wear my shoes. I probably can bring these out because I don't, I don't see nobody wearing the He Got Games. And of course, they sat for a long time. And I have undsed these. I wore these once already. I forgot where I wore them, but it was recently. But I wish these would have came out with the 23 on the side, just like um, the 10, 10, 13 pack from 08. And then the Jordans, you know, the Jordans are facing the other way. Uh, for those who think that these are fake, these are not fake. These are not fake. I got receipts for all my stuff. Y'all know where I work already. But yeah, man, the, this is like my number four favorite pack. Well, simply because of the He Got Games. The He Got Games is one of my favorite sneakers of all time because of the movie. I love the movie. He Got Game might be, might be second. My second favorite basketball movie. My first is uh, Above the Rim with Tupac and all them boys. Birdie, you feel me? But coming in at number four, you got the 10, 13 countdown pack from 08. This is not, this. these are pairs that I ended up buying when they retro, you feel me? All right, so these these ain't. I might as well have the pack. And when that pack came out, I think it was three hundred. Man, packs used to be cheap. Like you think about it now, like dang, you know, retros already two hundred now. Like just 10, 11 years ago, a pack was only three hundred dollars. Shoot, I, I'd have been better off buying the pack. All right, coming in at number three. Number three, you got the Air Jordan Five Bravo Toro pack. All right, featured the Raging Bull Fives, and, and some people call it the Raging Bull Pack, but it featured the Red Sway Raging Bull Five, and it had the All Black 3M Five Retro Five. Oh, it had like the best packs for some reason. I don't know why, but it was crazy, man. And those also retail for like three hundred and ten dollars, if I am mistaken. So you think about it, you got a pair of Raging Bulls and another Retro for. $300, like, dang, 10 years, just 10 years ago, man, that's, that's ridiculous, like, I wish I'd have been buying, well, I wish I had the money to buy that stuff, you know, 08, I was a freshman in, in college, I was broke, I ain't had no job, you know, and, and it's crazy, because I teach and I'm still broke, so, I don't know what's going on, man, God, can you send a million dollars in my lap, I don't, I don't even need a million, I just need 500,000, and I know I'm gonna make that flip, because I'm good at flipping money, man. But yeah, man, number three, this is one of my favorite packs, the Air Jordan 5 Bravo Toro, AKA the Raging Bull. All right, coming in at number two, number two. Now, this might make some people mad because a lot of people say this is the greatest pack of all time. Greatest pack of all time. If you know what I'm talking about, you already know what I'm about to say. The greatest pack of all time, you got the defining moments, Jordan 6, in Jordan 11. Now, the Jordan 6 came with the black and the gold, and the 11 came white, black, gold Concord. Now, it also came, both shoes came with hang tags on them, and the Jumpman on the DMP Pack 11 is gold, all right? Now, this came out in January 06, yeah, I, January 06, that's crazy. That's crazy. I remember all this stuff, man. Like, I ain't had the money, but I guess that's how bad I wanted it. Cause I definitely remember them coming out. But I know it, I know my mama wasn't gonna buy it, so mm -hmm. and these were around 
I think that was around $310, if I'm mistaken. Yeah, about $310. That's crazy. Can we can we go back to these 2008, 2007, 2006 prices? Because $300 for packs. I mean, we need packs back, period. Like, come on, man. And last but not least, my favorite pack of all time, which features my top two favorite Jordans of all time. All right? You got the 11 and you got the 12. The 11 and the 12 countdown pack, all right? Now, this pack released the same year, December 08, right before Christmas. Crazy, because I got these two shoes right before Christmas when they released by themselves. All right, got your bread 11s, <laughs> my favorite sneaker in my collection. This is the 2012 pair, and you got your taxi 12s. Man, these are my two favorite sneakers Two favorite Jordans of all time, man. Like, y'all already heard my story a million times, all right? Now, we got the breads coming back out this December. I, I might get two or three pairs. I don't know, man. I don't need it. I, I know my girl, she, she loves, my girl loves this pair, so I'll get her a pair. She, she never had them. So, she loves this. And these are still in pretty good condition to say it's seven years old, man. All right, and my taxis, the taxis, we haven't had any uh, more releases since, I think this was 2013, if I am mistaken. So yeah, man, these this is my favorite pack, the 1112 Countdown Pack, man. This is this is the greatest one in my opinion. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, guys. I know the uh, DMP pack, the 6 and 11s, I know that's arguably the greatest pack of all time, but for me personally, the 1112 Countdown Pack is my favorite. Simply because Martin had this sneaker for Christmas in one of the episodes he, he gave away. And then this is the sneaker Jordan won his fourth championship. He beat Gary Payton and Sean Kemp, the Seattle Supersonics, in the finals. So, yeah, man, like, this is the sneaker I vividly remember. Like, I vividly remember watching Michael Jordan play in. Like, my first glimpse of Michael Jordan, like, oh, this, he the truth. Like, you know, when you little... You know, we've seen the commercials. I, if I could be like Mike, I want to be like Mike. I dream he is me, me is him, however it used to go, man. You know, you little, you ain't paying no attention to that. But when I started watching, watching basketball, I vividly remember these with him on that court crying, in the locker room crying, because it was Father's Day. But yeah, man, my favorite pack. The 11s and the 12, the bread 11s and the taxi 12s. All right. Now, you guys leave a comment in the comment section below on your favorite pack, so if, it, if it's any pack that I forgot about. Also, my collection video, my entire collection video is coming. I'm creeping up on 100 videos. I think this video right here is gonna be 99. So uh, my 100 video, I wanna start like my entire collection. And I think it's gonna be like at least 10 or 11 parts. I, I got a lot of shoes and I'm trying to downsize. So I'm gonna end up selling some sneakers uh, just in case, man. But like I said, y'all let me know in the comment section below what you feel about my personal top five packs or if you feel like I forgot something or your favorite packs, all right? But anyway, it's been your friendly neighborhood sneaker man, Goat Weezy. Make sure y'all hope smash that subscribe button and y'all know how I get out of here, baby. Love, peace, and throw some chicken grease on that thing, baby. Out of here. Ooh.